Well, we all know this winter has brought a significant amount of snow and ice, a steady stream of school cancellations and travel restrictions, but it also may have brought some good to the area. Experts say this year's winter should be favorable for U.S. crops after much of the country saw a drought over the past two summers. As temperatures begin to slightly warm up, News 18 this morning checks in with two experts about what this winter's snow means for this year's planting season. It's been more than two decades since Hoosiers have seen an intense winter mixed with ample amounts of snowfall and sub-zero temperatures like we saw this year. Specifically, I think of like 1977, 78 was a year like this. Uh, and then after that, 1981-82 uh, is another example. But those winters were actually characterized by more snow than we are getting this year. But as much of the state will begin to see a warming trend with above average temperatures, Associate State Climatologist Ken Scaringa says more snow isn't out of the question. We could still have uh, snow a month from now, six weeks from now, um, but there will be warm periods, of course, interspersed in there because we're getting into March. And as we inch closer to spring, planting season for Indiana farmers will be here before we know it. Purdue agronomy professor Tony Vine says while this winter may have caused headaches for most Hoosiers, there are some benefits to all of this winter's precipitation. The good news about this past winter is that we've had a recharge in our soil moisture, so uh, there's no longer the concern for drought that uh, is much more uh, a dominant concern in southwestern part of the United States. However, Scaringa says if Mother Nature dumps more precipitation on Indiana come March or April, that's when farmers could see a potential problem. We have too much moisture before the planting season even begins and the soils are saturated. In other words, water is sitting in the field. We see muddy fields. Just the ability to get into the field is the major challenge.